Hey, hey. Hopefully, someone will come on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm in my vehicle. So, waiting. Thought I would pull some cards and just see what we get. So, don't know if we have anyone watching yet. Nope, not yet. Let me know if, um, hopefully someone will let me know if they start watching. Hard flip. King of Cups. Someone's got a King of Cups energy coming towards them. And they may not be looking for it. So, yeah. This person is finding the strength. To come towards you because it, it's as though something's been holding them back. Feels like they're torn between um, you and someone else. So, King of Cups, finding the strength to either come towards you or speak. There's something they want to say. high priestess they're following their intuition about this um, this has had them confused it feels like there's been a lot of confusion a lot of not knowing a lot of um, wondering um, trying to figure what they should do um, it's almost as though they're torn they're torn between coming towards you, speaking to you, or reaching out to you, and something else. It could be family, it could be um, another person, could be a friend, it could be even work. But something's got them torn. It's, it's as though they feel like they'll lose something in order to gain something. Now, um, this could be a new lover This could be a new lover um, that's going to come into your life. Um, you know, lover's card doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friend as well. But there's someone, they're having a hard time going forward, going towards you. But they're trying to follow their intuition. You know, strength is here to help them be able to um, go towards you and thank you for the thumbs up yeah please do that um, four of cups you know it's like they're being offered this new beginning and they just have to take a hold of it so maybe they're you know they're scared something's got them scared um, this also could be someone from someone's past that they've had um, a relationship with at one time or another and it did not work out so, you know, uh, but it doesn't have to be. Someone's got, a, got something new that's there's being offered to them, and they're trying to find the strength to go towards it, it feels like. Yeah, there you go. Go towards it. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, some get ready. Someone may reach out to you. They may communicate with you. Um, this is someone who may work a lot. They want to offer you something. Now, it's something that you can put your hands on. It's something tangible. Um, this, you know, I'm not feeling a lot of emotion. 
it's almost as though they're scared to put them feelings out there and that may take a little while um, even if they feel something for you it may take them a little bit to put that out there but they definitely definitely want definitely want that victory um, and I also feel like they feel a lot of passion they feel really tor you know oh my goodness it's a feeling of um, this I'm getting passion the devil card um, you could be de dealing with a Capricorn but or maybe you you're a Capricorn or maybe you got a lot of Capricorn in your chart maybe they do but this is a feeling that someone has a lot of passion to give because they're feeling it heavily um oh yeah and they definitely want a victory so you know this feels like this is someone new coming towards someone or has came into their life and maybe they it's it's like they feel they're scared or they're torn or um maybe they've got a choice between two maybe they have this choice between two and they have to pick you know and and it feels like maybe they're having a hard time with that um as well so that's for our first let me reshuffle the cards and we will um we'll see what another message is while i sit here and wait because i'm gonna be sitting here for a while so yeah let's see i hope everyone has had an awesome day um look over me um yeah i'm just kind of yeah <laughs> but um let's see over the weekend was awesome um the fair was here had an awesome time at the fair let's see okay okay i only brought one deck i brought this deck so we're going to see what we get. Do I, how many do I have watching? Okay. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay. Prayer. Okay, something's weighing heavy on someone's mind. Someone is burdened. Um, someone feels um, there's a heaviness um, like I said burdened heavy weight on their mind okay for someone there's something to do with a child or the absence of a child that's not for everyone um, okay Someone has worries of bills because I just seen what looks like an envelope with the word bills wrote on it. You need to have faith. You need to do what you have to do. Work hard and do what you've got to do. Um, but you need, okay, worrying does not help. Um, what do you gain from worrying? You know, worrying just hurts our health. Um, it holds us back. It, it takes us into a place of negativity. So worrying is not going to help a thing. Um, you need to actually prayer, you know, uh, give it to a higher power, give it to God, give it to the universe, give it to the angels, and allow, allow the guidance that you need to be given to you about this. Someone, um, Okay, there's something about a car. Um, someone's car may be tore up or someone is wanting to get a car. Um, faith and belief. Believe and um, your prayers will be answered. Um, you know, faith is a big deal. People, um, you know, a lot of people feel well if you can't see it how can you believe it but um i'm here to tell you faith is real um you don't always have to see to feel that's the thing many people they don't feel 
They don't trust what they feel. So, whoever you are, if you're looking to buy a car or if you're having, you know, this problem, this issue with your car, something is about to change, but you need to have faith. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm seeing um, American flag. And I'm seeing what looks to be um, camouflage. It's, you know, it's, it's almost like it's someone, but I'm seeing them. Um, it's kind of like they're on their knee. They're on one knee. I can't tell if this is a man or a woman. Um, okay. This is for someone who's lost someone. And um, the grief. Oh my goodness, they're grief stricken. It's um, very heavy. It's, it's so heavy, they feel like they're drowning. Um, she is with you. Okay, so this is a, a female that was in, um, some, in the military or something of sorts um, who has passed is with you seeing a white rose um, they are in peace and the thing is is they want you to be in peace so I don't know who this is for but they want you to be in peace they want you to have peace um, with their passing not turmoil yes um, this card's got a heavy feel with it. Someone is very lonely. Um, they're very lonely. They feel like they have waited and waited. And I feel like they want. They want someone. But it's a feeling like they... Um, it's almost like they're sabotaging themselves. They want someone, yet they're putting out the message that they want someone, yet they're not ready for someone. It's that type of feeling. Um, so that's something to be aware of. If you are putting out that message that, you know, to the universe, to God, to the angels, hey, I want my person. But then you're also putting out the message that, oh, no, 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 back away. I'm not ready. You know, that's something to think about because I feel like that's heavy for someone or for, for many. It's got that type of feeling to it. So, yeah. Okay. Let's take another. Um, okay. They're wanting me to put it back. I'm going to pre-shuffle here again. And we're just going to see um, because that was very heavy. Um, that was heavy. That was worry. That was um, grief. Okay, let's see what we get. Nine of Wands. They're taking me back to... Hello! I can't hardly see that screen, so I'm sorry, but... They're taking me back to worry. They're taking me back to... Um, but now, what they're showing me is that someone, through faith, will put down all the burdens. And they will, once they have faith, they will feel a sense of freedom, a sense of um, relief. This is a, a sense of uh, n not having to worry, you know, because the worry really, I mean, what good is worry? What good does it do us? Um, it only hurts us. It makes us uh, weak and such. Trying to see what else I feel from this. I just feel like this is basically saying, you know, we just had the really worried 
and prayer and begging and and not understanding and uh, card you know uh, the being at all why is this happening why is this happening to me card and now we've got this card of you know if you give that to a higher power if you um, choose to have faith and choose to um, feel at peace even though you're in turmoil you see what I'm saying um, letting go of control issues giving it to God even though you may feel that your world is falling apart you will find peace you will be able to put down the burden now is this going to completely just change everything to where no it's not you know especially with whomever i was picking up on that that is in this moment of grief you know i can't imagine that um i'll be honest with you this feels like a parent that has lost a child that that's what this feels like um and i cannot imagine that but that that person you know she um i do feel like it is a, a female um she is with with you and it's it's almost like giving that peace trying to give that peace to you so yeah it's not you know it's as as though this is not going to um But it's wanting peace for you. Now, um, putting down that burden. I want you to look at this. This is putting down the burden, but this is letting go of control. This is choosing to give up control to a higher power. Choosing to believe. Choosing to... Um, not set in the energy of um, worry, heaviness. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. I don't know who all of you all are, are out there that is worrying, but this is some heavy energy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get to some. Let's get to something else here. Maybe some. I don't know, maybe some love read or something. Who all out there wants a love wants a love read? Start asking for a love read. Or um hmm. And that's some heavy energy there. Sadness. Grief. Okay. Okay. Thumbs up, please. Okay. Hmm, five of pentacles. Okay, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, this is better. Someone has had, um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who this is for, but whoever has been dealing with some crap in their life in the past, they've dealt with some, and I mean, this feels like it could have been with, um, for some of you, a, a significant other. Not for everyone. For some of you, it could have been with, a a family member or a friend. It's like once you allow the healing to come in, you know, this is really taking your control of your life back. Someone's, oh, we got nine, nine up there. Someone's taking control of their life back. They're choosing to be happy, choosing to find that sense of, um, mm, I can't get my word, essence of flow, essence of, um, feeling um, at peace and choosing not to be in this moment of drama that everyone seems to want to put them in is almost a feeling like someone gets pulled into other people's drama and they're choosing to not be in that anymore. They're choosing to finally think of themselves, finally see what they want. Finally see their own worth. Finally um, whew, give to themselves. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
um, just giving to themselves and really um, knowing what their worth is. Uh, I don't do personal readings. Um, and it's kind of hard to see on this. I'm on the phone, so it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I can pull a card, but I may miss someone. So if I miss someone, don't get mad at me. Let's see. I'm just going to pull some cards, I feel like, and say what I feel. And y'all just kind of feel if it's for you or not. How's that? Okay. Let's see. Okay. First out, we have got the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I haven't went live in a while. Um, okay. We've got the Three of Pentacles, you know. This is about a relationship. Um, okay. okay. This is about a relationship where someone has had a lot of pain or they are feeling a lot of pain. Now, why are they feeling pain? Um, what is causing this pain? Is this self-pain? Is this pain from the other person? Or is this because someone is choosing to see something in a light that it's really not? I've got to pull a card on that. It feels like that some, okay, is this self-pain or is this true pain from the other person? Self-pain, oops, okay. Oh, they just threw a reading out. That went in the fuller. Okay. 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 We've got the Two of Pentacles. Balance. Something needs to be balanced. What is not balanced between you and your person? This is a relationship. Now, this could be... Um, I feel like this is um, possibly... For most of you, it feels like it could be you know, romantic. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, there's something that needs to be balanced. And is this within you? Is this within the relationship? We just had 10 10 up there. Um, or is this the way you're looking at something? You know. I want to show you. We've got the Ace of Wands. So, strength. Um, what is it that you need to have strength in? You know, I feel like that someone's jumping the gun on something. Someone is confused because they're not seeing something clearly. And they just need to slow down. They need to look at things a lot differently. I'm seeing the hangman. You need to look at things from a different perspective. Um, yeah, definitely. We've got the moon here. We've got, see, we've got two of cups, a union, you know, uh, two people together. We've got the full card. Is someone being foolish? Are you thinking foolish? Are you um, seeing things foolishly? Or is this, you know, is this for real? Hello. Um... You need to see the truth with the Page of Swords. I feel like that someone, maybe younger than you, has some sort of truth to tell you, and you need to listen. Um, because you, you could be seeing things a whole different light than you should be seeing them with the Moon card being here. There's a sense of deceptiveness that maybe you're seeing it how it's not. I hope that makes sense for someone out there. 10 10 again um i'm sure that you know that has some sort of meaning it's like things can move a lot smoother a lot smoother when you really see things for what they are so i feel like someone's not seeing things for exactly what they are and that's something that's important i have to crank up a minute i don't want my battery to go down Okay. Hello. Okay. Hopefully that sounds not um, bothering anything. Okay. Now let's see. The hair font. Okay. Relationship. Um, possibly a marriage. Okay. Someone. We got the King of Swords here. We got the Strength card. 
I'm out of swords. Someone is, um, this is about seeing the truth. Um, you know, this is air, my intellectual, you know, truth, um, strength. Maybe dealing with, maybe, maybe you have a lot of Leo in your chart. The strength is here because I feel like someone needs to see a truth and maybe they're not seeing it. This has got something to do with a relationship. Could be a marriage. We got 1111 up there. Maybe it's twin flame. 11-11, make a wish. Um, could be a marriage. Could be just a long relationship or one that is looked upon as being, you know, really close. Carrying a lot of burden. What's the burden about? You know, that needs to be looked at. Why do we have all this burden here? Do we need all this burden? Okay. What What is going on? What needs to be Page of Pentacles. Someone that someone needs to say they're sorry for something. You know, is that you or is that them? Someone has done something that has caused someone, or maybe they've let someone carry. Okay, it feels like someone's let someone carry all of the burden of sorts. Now this this could be um, within the relationship. This could be. Um, money related it could be many things but it's like someone needs to speak something i'm feeling this is speak you know i mean you could give something if you want i'm not feeling it that way i feel like this is a needing to speak possibly an apology or possibly um telling why why they haven't helped with the burden that's what it, that's what it feels like um it's like that's what someone wants Yep, that's what they're looking for. That's what they're looking for. You know, this um, three of wands, looking for what you want to come to you. Someone's waiting for someone to admit that, um, you know, they're wrong or um, they didn't help or they need to do more or um, such. Now, I'm going to tell you, once this comes about, it changes things. The Wheel of Fortune's here. Things are going to look a whole lot differently. It's like once someone takes that ownership, it changes the whole dynamic in the relationship. And things can um, be a lot happier. They can be a lot um, more together instead of separate. Um, it's like, um, oh my goodness, it's a good feeling. So things may change money-wise, they may change abundant-wise, they may change, uh, well, that would be money-wise, wouldn't it? Um, Feeling-wise, um, attention-wise. You know, I also feel like that um, we have someone out there that wants attention. They, they want their person to give them attention, and they're not doing it. It's like they want that affection. They need that affection. They crave that affection. And the person is just, they're just not doing it. It's like they, it's not a feeling like they don't care. It's a feeling like they don't get it, you know. They don't need it, so they don't get it. But, you know, that's the thing. Everyone's not the same. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't, oh, looking for my glasses. Okay. We have nine people watching. Um, I wish I'd have brought more, more decks now, but, um, I didn't. I have been wanting to go live at home. Well, there's the chariot. Okay, we got cards that, that have turned, don't ask me how. I have no clue, but they turned themselves somehow. Um, I'm about to show you. I'm going to show them to you. It's a message. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Okay, these cards turn themselves. Don't ask me how. Oh my goodness, there's more, and they're apart from the other ones. Okay, we've got two messages here. Okay, well, someone's got a lot of 
Um, someone's manifesting. They're manifesting what they want. Um, I feel like they're manifesting big. That's a long reading right there. Okay. Okay. That I mean, I'm just separating the cards out. They give me readings here, and I have to kind of get them. Okay. Okay, first off, we've got here, um, and hopefully you can see, a broken heart. You see that? That actually wasn't out first. Um, the first that was out was the um, Knight of Wands. I feel like someone's dealt with players, and they've got their heart broken. Knight of Wands can be player energy. I feel like they've got their heart broken, and that's been very hard for them, you know, moving forward. Um, what they're moving towards is a lot better, a lot brighter, looks a lot better. Um, there's communication, truthful communication from someone else. Uh, because they chose to move away from what had hurt them. And once they done that with the chariot, they had an ending of a cycle. Things changed. Things looked something ended for the better uh, so now it's like whoever this is they're more moving towards someone that is going to be a um, perfect match you know uh, this is a, someone that could go into a union with them um, could be a new romantic partner um, could be a new sexual partner even but yeah that's that one now okay this next one they kind of give me a, a lot of cards so you're gonna have to give me a minute. I did bring me something to lay them out on. We've got the hangman. So someone needing to see the truth, needing to look at things from a different point of view. Um, sometimes we look at things closed-minded. We look at them through like, I like to say through goggles, where we've got the blinders on the side and we can't see everything around. Someone needs to just really take a, a step back and see things for what they are and not allow themselves to just choose to um, see a little bit and you know it's almost a feeling of going within taking some time for you and going within you know and really seeing things for what they are because it's going to change everything okay we get that hermit or not the hermit why am i saying her okay we're gonna have healing the hermit you know that's healing um Things that come out of your mouth, that's there's a reason. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I feel like that you've been working really hard to break toxic cycles. You know, the devil card. To break things that have held you back. To um, end patterns. To um, that keep you stuck. I'm seeing a birdcage, yeah. Someone's been keeping themselves stuck. And what they're doing, they're choosing to see things from a different point of view that is helping them to break these toxic patterns. Um, I also feel like that someone, someone, now this ain't for everyone, but someone is choosing, they're making the decision to get help. Um, someone has some form of addiction or something. They're choosing to get help because they're tired of being stuck. They're tired of feeling, um, they're tired of hurting the people they love. They're tired of being in this, this energy of um, feeling stuck to something. It's like having to have something, and they're, they're tired of it. They're taking their life back. So that's awesome. Um, someone is, um, okay, this is for going, we're going back now. We're going back to the breaking of those patterns. Okay, someone is working very hard. They feel like they're having to hold on to everything that they earn or every dime. Did you see that? It's like holding on to it for dear life. Um, there's something they're not seeing and there's a truth that needs to be seen. And I feel like that's gonna change the whole dynamic. That is going to um, change everything. And it's got, you know, I feel like for some of you, actually holding on to your own energy as well scared to death to put it out there um, but um, for some it's got to do with holding on to what you have because you're scared that you're going to lose it 
it's like the truth is about to set you free the truth is about to come in and change things dramatically um you know we got the knight of cups here but I'll be honest with you for some of you this is about you loving yourself this is about you finding that cup for yourself um and that helps to free you for those of you that want someone in your life that's special and, and maybe you've you've been hanging on to whatever you have because you're scared yeah that they'll just take it and just hurt you leave you or whatever you know um it's like things are about to change you know but those of you that's not looking for someone you're just you know you're manifesting you found the love in yourself and you're manifesting what you want you've got everything that you need with the magician card to manifest you know um as above so below you got it do it you can bring it forth through the way you think through the way you talk um through your actions you know working hard for what you want you want something go after um dream yes okay let's see what we got here <laughs> okay you see some of you some of you you're working very hard for your home your family you know that's that's your thing some of you you want someone new to come into your life you want um, this happy home happy life i feel like for some of you that could be coming um now this person could have a child and that's going to be a big deal you're going to have to um they love their child we'll put it that way you you you're going to have to uh, really step up to the plate because it feels like there's something hurt there I like black cats I mean I always feel um, I don't feel anything bad when I see black cats but if you look up that meaning you may find out that there's more to it and you know I just I like black cats I've always liked them um, I want you to look at this ace of cups now i want you to look at the moon you look you see those moon cycles up there someone has been using the moon they've been releasing with the moon yet they've been um manifesting with the moon and that is making all the difference you see the eye from heaven looking down it's all being seen the work you're putting in is being seen I feel like you're also touching other people. You're also um, being this, um, let me cut those lights on. You are being this light worker. You are helping other people to move forward on their path. And that is being seen. So, you know, for those of you that you're wanting someone to come into your life, I feel like someone's coming. They're actually being sent. This is someone who has a lot of love to offer. Um, They're taking on the Queen of Wands energy. Oh my God! Look at there. Queen of and the King of Cups. Okay, this person has a lot of love to offer, but not only that, they have more to offer. Um, they 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 want to grow something. They don't want to just love someone. They want to grow something with someone. That's beautiful. And for those of you that you remember this card. You put down the burden and you had faith. There you go. Um, I'm going to tell you though, some of you, you've got healing that needs to be done because you feel like you fought a war. You feel like you fought a battle at some point in time and it's got you feeling like you're alone. It's, it's almost a feeling like you push people away. You see that? You don't mean to or maybe you do. Um, some of you don't mean to and that needs to be healed the star card you know I feel like that the star card is here because you can heal this you can accept what needs to be accepted and you can move forward um, yeah you can move forward with victory six of um, wands that's victory that's happiness that's things coming your way that needs to come your way and then there you are I feel like the the Queen of Cups it does not have to be water energy you know it's just the energy of the card um, so you know you could be a water 
sign, but you don't have to be. It's the energy of, of the card. It, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you what they're showing me. Um, it's going to be different for different people because different people have different things that they need to end or different things that they need to change about whatever they're doing or about themselves or, you know, whether that's patterns, whether that's bad behaviors, whether that's addictions, whether that's um, the way that they look at themselves because of what they went through or the way that they guard their heart, just whatever. It's going to be different for different people. Nine of Cups is our, you know, that's our wish come true card, but it comes after letting go of something with the death card, letting it go. You know, and I feel like, you know, like I said, you know, a lot of that has to do with what clutters up your mind, what takes up your time. You know, what is it that rules your mind daily? What do you think about constantly? What What do you need to stop thinking about? What do you need to let go of? You know, it's got to do with patterns. It's got to do with addictions or or uh, behaviors or the way you look at your own self or the way that you look at other people or the healing that you need to do. So I hope that makes sense, but that's what I'm getting from that. Okay. And I know I've probably missed if anyone said anything. I have probably missed it. I'm trying to get these cards back right. That is what I'm doing. Somehow they, they keep, and I, I've not even done anything to them, but they keep to be, they seem to be flipping themselves, and somehow. Okay, it's starting to get dark here. Um, is anyone still with me? It says I've still got 10 people. I'm trying okay oh my goodness I see I just fixed all these cards in that I'm it's flipped two more you know a lot is about seeing your own truth with that knight of swords there and seeing your own truth and your worth and your value you know this is like the the empress and the minor arcana this is a major card i mean this it's not a major arcana but yet it's still a major step in your life of seeing your own worth and your value so yeah um Let's see. Is anybody here with me? If you are, say hey, because I'm looking at the screen right now. I can see you. Okay. See, now I just fixed those. I want you to look at this. See what they're doing? Awesome. Hey. Okay, they flipped this card for a reason. I just fixed all of my cards and page of wands. 